Yo, what is going on guys? It is Prodigy today. Hope you guys are having a great day. You guys can see my Cheeto bag behind me. I was having a little snack before I made this video. But I hope you guys are having a great day. Today's topic of the video is going to be about the new COD rumor that it's going to be set in space. Call of Duty Space Warfare, guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe if you do. Be up to channel grow, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so Call of Duty Space Warfare. What do you guys think about that? A good idea or not? Let me know in the comments below after this video is over. But you know, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I like space. I like the idea of COD in space. We've had some futuristic games already, but it hasn't been that far in the future where you have to be in space. The game has to be set in, you know, space. The universe, whatever it may be. I mean, yeah, you can argue that it's going to get a little bit more closer to like Halo and Destiny. But I mean, unless you know the maps are called planets, you know, Mars, Jupiter, Venus, whatever. And our home base is say like Earth or something like that. And I don't really see it getting to Destiny just yet. But there certainly are arguments for it. I, I understand that. It is, tr it is true, I mean, space could, you know, get a little out of hand, it can, you know, be made the wrong way. A lot of people might not like it, especially, you know, if it's called Ghost 2, then it will already have a, you know, a negative connotation towards the game. People might not really like it or want to buy it because it's called Ghost 2, but who knows? Nothing is said in Sony yet, guys, nothing is really announced until, you know, E3 in June. So until then, we really don't know what it's about, besides that rumor that it's in space. And it might be a great game, who knows? Space might be a great thing, they might do a good job. And the thing that I thought was really funny about it is, what if the name, is what if the game in space, Space Warfare or whatever they're gonna call it, what if it's in space, but it's classic Call of Duty. There's no jetpacks, no thrusting, no nothing. It's just normal Call of Duty like it's been before Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare, what if it's just normal, but it's in space? So no one knows what it's going to be about yet. It's just a rumor. Rumors should be taken seriously to a degree, but other than that, guys, I really don't see people getting that upset about it. People are saying that they're not going to buy the game. People are saying that's going to be a waste of money, but people have said that about Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, but yet the people still bought it. I mean, you can't say you're not going to buy a game. But it doesn't come out for like another six months. I mean, there's still possibilities for it to be a great game. You never know what it's going to be about until it comes out. So, I mean, give it a chance, guys. Give it a chance to be released. All the info to be released on the E3 date. Because you never know. You It might be your favorite Call of Duty to date. I mean, this game is kind of a disappointment. Especially for Call of Duty competitive players. Because of the prize pools announced. And the lack of events. The lack of support from the Activision and not necessarily the developers from Treyarch, but it's more of the higher ups like the lawyers, Activision, Sony, all that type of stuff. Because one, no events would happen if it wasn't for Activision. And from the only event that we had that was like a serious event was because the controllers were terrible. The PlayStation controllers were having a Bluetooth issue. As many of you probably remember if you follow competitive. But people can say it was probably a terrible event, especially the competitors. So I mean, it all comes down to them. I feel like the reason we're not having a lot of events this year is one, because, you know, Sony's afraid to, you know, have the bad end of the stick again, saying that they're to blame for the bad event. I feel like that's the main reason why we're not having any more events right now. It's because Sony's scared to, you know, step up to the plate, step up and say it was their fault. But I mean, unless so this game was like that much of a fail, the, and especially seeing how good this game is, like this game is great. And I hope that the next game is great. If it's in space, cool. If it's not, cool. I mean, it's Call of Duty. I'm a Call of Duty fan. I'm a fanboy of it. I know a lot of you who are watching this video are as well. So you can't really talk that much shit about it. Because chances are there's 95% chance you're going to buy the game. So don't hate on it just yet because you never know what's going to happen, guys. 
Nothing, like I said, nothing's dead in stone. Let's think about what we already have. We have Black Ops 3, we have Advanced Warfare, we've had thrusters, we have jetpacks. We were able to raw run. All that stuff. And now, we supposedly have warfare in space. Now that can mean a lot of things. That can mean, you know, missions will be in space. And if you guys remember in Ghost, there was a mission in the campaign that was set in space. It was on a set, it was on a space station. We were just killing enemies. It wasn't that, you know, spectacular. But there was a space mission. So, I mean, unless you really, you know, hate the new Call of Duty, you want classic Call of Duty like a lot of the Call of Duty fans want. You know, the veteran Call of Duty players, the ones that have been playing since, like, Call of Duty 4. The old Call of Duty players, you know, people that love Call of Duty for what it is. I mean, I can see you guys' speculation and anger towards the game. Saying that you don't want to play it, saying that it's going to be dead by the time it comes out. A lot of you are saying that the game is dead already, which is kind of a surprise saying this This is the best Call of Duty in a while since Ghost, Advanced Warfare, all that stuff. I mean, this is a great game. You gotta give it some respect, you gotta give it some credit, but I mean, Call of Duty Space Warfare, I don't know. I mean, it sounds cool. There can be a lot of issues towards it. You never know until the, uh, you never know until the information is released, so hopefully it'll be good. But let me know in the comments below what you guys want. Classic Call of Duty or the Space Warfare, or if you guys are going to buy the next one or not buy it at all. But chances are, I believe you guys will. But who knows, guys? I just hope that they can make a good thing about it. Infinity Ward has made good games in the past. I mean, there was Ghost, but the Modern Warfare series, COD 4, is known as the best Call of Duty ever. Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, those are all great games, guys. So let's just wait and see how it is. But let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see about it. If you guys want classic, want futuristic. And keep in mind, this was like the most farthest future game to date of the Space Warfare stuff. So let me know, guys. I mean, I know this is going to be a great game. I like all the Call of Duties. I mean, they all have their flaws. They all have their mistakes. This game has mistakes. Every Call of Duty had mistakes. So, I mean, just give it a chance, guys. And I know that you guys will like it. Hopefully. I mean, I might not like it. Who knows? It hasn't been said in Sony yet. But I hope I will. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys... Learned a little bit of insight of this video. Hope that E3 comes soon so we can see the new release, the gameplay for it, so we know what it's actually about. No more of these rumors. But thanks for watching once again, guys. I appreciate it. I'll be live streaming later on today. I'll put it down in the description below. This is Predazy once again. Peace out, guys. Ski-yay!